Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope everybody's having a terrific hump day. Got to head to the post office, going to send Dad his Father's Day card. Father's Day is on Sunday. Hopefully this makes it to you on time. That's right, I'm a good son. Got to send the card. Got my iced coffee, because where you and I are going today, we're going to need to use our brains. So we got to be wide awake. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Packing a lunch, packing a lunch. Too legit, too legit to chip. They've opened up on the bike eastbound. 80s are back in Boston with about 83 degrees there. Traffic looks as good as it's gonna get at 10 a.m. going into Boston. The weather looks fantastic. Time for a good day trip. I'm excited about this one. Yeah, forget what I said about no traffic. There's plenty of it right now. Well, I took the wrong exit in the worst area I could have possibly done. I didn't follow my GPS. My bad. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, 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 no. But this detour turned out okay because we got a pretty good look at the Zakem Bridge over there on our left-hand side. The Wendy Zakem Bridge. On your left hand side, I feel like I'm a uh, narrator on one of those Boston Beantown trolleys or the duck tour here famous in downtown Boston. Well, that mistake only took me a better part of an hour. I'm gonna be in Boston all day, so $20.25 is not bad. That's the cheapest one around. Good thing I took karate back in fourth and fifth grade. Floor number three, just so I don't forget. The Museum of Science opened its doors back in 1951, but in reality, it's been around since 1830 when it was known as the Boston Society of Natural History. So this place, it's been here a long time. Boston's Museum of Science, where it's fun to find out. Why does he have such funny little front legs? Uh, sorry folks, park's closed. The moose out front should have told you. This vlog, <laughs> it's gonna be Dynamite. This is going to be a Jurassic vlog. This thing is something like out of Godzilla. Is that Mothra? Hey guys, you want to hang out? After all, I got a bear tattoo. The bear necessity is a life will come to you. She sells seashells. See, she sells seashells by the shore. She sells she. She sells seashells by the seashore. See, that's not that hard. Kawabunga, dude. Where's your pizza and your swords? I don't mind cougars, but they typically have kids, and I'm not talking about cubs. Dioramas are fun. She sells she sells by the seashore. What's this, Bruce Wayne's house? What, you guys aren't Batman fans? Come on, he has wings like you. Go back to Toronto. This is Boston, man. Oh snap, it brings me back to my DJ days. Mixing, mixing. I am pretty sure every bird in there is authentic. They're stuffed, the real birds. Every single bird in there, I'm sure, is authentic. Great color on that authentic bird. Foxy lady, coming to get you. One night I walked into my apartment, had an 18 pack of beer under one arm, and I had my work bag in my other arm, coming back from an honest day's work. Walk into the kitchen, look down, I see my cat sitting side by side with a raccoon eating out of the cat dish. It was crazy. True story. It's not what you're thinking. I didn't have a pet raccoon. I just simply left the door open in my kitchen and the raccoon came up the staircase. Honest mistake. Snoop Dogg in the house. Smells skunk in here, dude. I'm Batman. Where is he? I'm sorry for the loss of your brother last night when he was struck by a car on River Road in Weston. <laughs> He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wanna be like you. Ooh, ooh. Uh, never mind. That's the Godzilla one. Godzilla! That reminds me of the Bugaboo play back in third grade. My friend from Weston, past the 1993, you know what I'm talking about. The Bugaboo. When I was in the Bugaboo play, my part, he was a real a-hole of a bug. Let's check the rings. That's an old ass tree. Dioramas are fun. We are the world. We are the children. Oh, where, oh, where do the buffalo roam? Is that how the song goes? I don't know. I know where they roam, though. They're right here at the Museum of Science in Boston. I remember. Down on the home where the buffalo roam. I saw your buddies last week at the aquarium. I wonder if R2-D2 ever saw C-3PO naked. I'm pretty sure it looks just like this. You know what? I contemplate on going to the beach today. It's 81 degrees. Why am I inside the Museum of Science? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm seeing what's going on under the waves at Hampton Beach by being at this educational establishment. That's how an ocean wave waves. You know the commercial. It's fun to find out what makes an ocean wave wave. It's a small world after all. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And rainbows have nothing to hide. I came here for two reasons. To chew bubble gum and kiss frogs. Uh, I'm looking for Jeff Goldblum. Everybody seen Jeff Goldblum? Ground control to Major Tom. It's fun to find out what it's really like in space. If it's alive! Uh, that was a Frankenstein reference in case you didn't get it. Later on, there's gonna be a lightning show here. Hey, Brian Sullivan from Nantucket, Massachusetts. Did you catch us, pal? You will feel the power of the dark side. So we're gonna strike this cage with lightning, are you ready? Wait, this is wicked weird. I'm at the Museum of Science. In the movie, Weird Science was about making a model. Remember? They made that girl with a doll and some panties. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. And they used a computer, too. By the way, why are we wearing bras on our heads? Ceremonial. Oh, this room right here is about my people. This video blog brought to you by Jeffrey Dahmer. Mary Makotome. Mary Makotome. I don't see SpaghettiOs there or garlic toast. And, or chicken McNuggets, and that's a big part of my diet. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Derek Boston reporting here live from the Hall of Foot Fungus. It's Athletes Food Fest. Help, help, I'm caught in a lava lamp and I can't get out. Do you mind if I do the acid? I got it, I got it, I got it. Are Beanie Babies still worth money? Can I see jackpot? Uh, with my dental bill, I am gonna stay away from this. I am afraid. You can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. I feel like this is something off of Star Trek. That's me right there, right? See, how you doing? Beat me up, Scotty! Ladies, you know I'm all about the chicks. That building right there is the Mugar Omni Theater. And there they play laser shows and planetarial, planetarial, planetary, planetary, right? They show the celestial lasers. That right there is the Mugar Omni Theater. Inside there, they have a huge, like, telescope thing. It looks like you look up at the stars. It's uh, projected up on that dome. And they also have laser shows. I saw Laser Floyd in there. I saw Laser Michael Jackson. Good stuff. Planetarium. Pronounced planetarium. See? It looks like that inside that building. Actually, that dome right there, that's the planetarium. The other dome was where they have the Omni movies. That's the other side of the building altogether. It's way down there. I wonder if I can buy a beer in here. If not, I got a cooler in the car. I'm kind of tempted on getting tickets to that Wild Africa show. This is a really good Omni Theater in there. I'm telling you, it's awesome. Dudes, I'm having Space Mountain flashbacks right now. Look at this. I have all the planets to myself. <laughs> I'm kind of bummed out. They used to have like a, a scale over here where it showed you how much you weighed on the moon or how much you weighed on Mars. But it appears that they have taken, taken both of those machines, those scales, out of this building. It's, but this building right now looks like a... Uh, casino doesn't it looks like a bunch of uh, slot machines and then looks like space mountain behind me pretty dope daddy what's the difference between a meteor and a comet well it's uh, uh it'll be fun to find out won't it uh that thing can totally kill superman all right this thing's pretty cool when you step on the stairs, it makes a musical note. Watch. Duck tours. Get your duck tours here. Dude, they should make tattoo parlors like this. Check it out. Tattoo. Bam. Spider-Man. Spider-Man can do anything a spider can. E.T. Phone home. Where I'm going now, it's a little bit more classy, so I gotta change my shirt. But I totally forgot to iron this thing yesterday after I washed it. In fact, it's still a little bit damp. But since it's uh, high 80s right now in downtown Boston, this wet shirt, it's gonna feel comfortable. This guy behind me, he's still looking for Jeff Goldblum. Anybody seen Jeff Goldblum?
Who am I kidding? I'm 42 years old. I just got winded walking around that museum. Where am I going to go on a Wednesday night? The Tiki Bar. Huh. It's got a dress code. You can't be rolling up here in just a t-shirt. Aloha. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.